Recently, I made a video that overviewed the Biostar X370 ITX motherboard, which supports Ryzen processors, and there was one sort of a complaint about the motherboard that was definitely sticking out like a sore thumb as I looked over the board. That is the absence of any sort of Wi-Fi solution on the motherboard, and Biostar doesn't even make a variant of the motherboard that has any sort of Wi-Fi. You're basically stuck if you're going ITX right now with Biostar's motherboard, at least until ASRock's actually launch, and you're stuck without any sort of integrated Wi-Fi. So the best solution to getting around the Wi-Fi problem is obviously to have a hardline connection with an actual Ethernet cable directly into your router. It will give you the lowest ping times, it will give you the highest download speeds and the highest upload speeds. So obviously that's the preferable solution anyways, even if you do have Wi-Fi. The other solution is to pick up a Wi-Fi dongle, and this is a USB dongle that I picked up on Amazon for about $17. So today we ask this simple question about Wi-Fi through USB dongles. Is it So before we hop into the data that I collected, let me go over my methodology just very quickly. The first set of charts you'll see will be an average of five test runs from various solutions. I tested my Wi-Fi dongle in four different solutions, two on a desktop computer and two on a laptop, both using USB 2.0 and USB 3.0. Now I will say the USB 2.0 on the desktop, I actually used an internal uh, motherboard USB header um, and adapted that to take a normal type A connector. So the USB adapter was inside of the desktop computer for that test, which you'll see why that's important once you see the charts. The test setup was around 25 feet away from my access point in my apartment here, and you'll see that that was basically the worst case scenario I could find for my apartment. However, if you live in a house, there's a very good chance that uh, you'll be able to move even further away from your access point within your home. So obviously uh, planning out where your access point is located may be a little bit more important to you. The second set of charts that you'll see is a little bit simpler in that I took the laptop and put it about five feet away from the access point and ran the test over again, again using the uh, USB adapter as well as the laptop's own internal um, Wi-Fi card. So let's go ahead and take a look at the data and see just how good or bad this USB dongle is. And first up is the ping times measured in milliseconds. Obviously for that, the lower the ping time is, the better off you are. Now the hard wire connection again does come in first place here at a ping of just 23.4 seconds with the USB dongle tending to come up in the back of the pack. However, it is worth noting at a distance of about 25 feet, the uh, PCIe base network card to the Intel uh, dedicated laptop card or the USB dongle they're all within about five milliseconds of each other so even though the USB dongle is not performing as well as uh, more preferable solutions um, I wouldn't exactly say it's getting blown out of the water either and here we have the download speeds the hardwire connection does blow out the rest of the field the uh, USB dongle sort of trades blows here with the internal uh, laptop card as well as the PCIe card and obviously at the bottom the USB dongle put inside of the desktop case fares by far the worst being enclosed in that metal chassis. Upload speeds definitely did not favor the USB dongle and the most interesting data came from the laptop USB 3.0 port and I ran this test uh, multiple times more like 10 times instead of the normal five test runs I was doing I reset the computer uh, I tried to sort of reset that I do not know why uh, the USB 3.0 ports did not like this USB dongle. I'm not really sure what the problem there was. However, it turned in a speed of just 0.5 megabits per second on the upload side of things when it was put into the USB 3.0 port. However, it did just fine when it was put in the USB 2.0 port. So the obvious solution there is if it's a problem like that, just sort of a finicky issue, just put it in the other port. So from there, we took the USB dongle and the laptop to about five feet from the access point to run the test over again. The laptop's internal card had a ping time at that distance of 26.2, which is not far off of the hardline connections ping time, whereas the USB dongle did not improve all that much, turning in a ping time of 35.2 milliseconds. Moving to the download speeds near the access point, the internal laptop card completely blows out the USB Wi-Fi card. Uh, the, the USB Wi-Fi card would still be plenty enough to game on from this distance and at this speed. It's just worth knowing that the uh, laptop's card is way preferable when you have a strong signal. And the upload speeds, which are just as important for gaming as download speeds, if not more important, 
turn in very similar numbers, both cards coming in just over 12 megabits per second there. So in conclusion, yes, Wi-Fi USB dongles will do the job, just don't expect them to get the same types of speeds that you will likely get out of an internal uh, Wi-Fi card, whether it be on the desktop side of things or a laptop internal card either. But if you don't have any other solutions and your computer is somewhat close to an access point to the point where it'll still get a fairly strong signal, the USB adapter can actually be a decent uh, option for you. Also worth noting is that this was a $17 USB adapter and there are more expensive ones on the market that have their own dedicated antenna similar to what an internal card on a desktop uh, solution would be like a PCIe card that has its own antennas coming out of the back of the computer and in which case you will probably would get a little bit better performance from those USB dongles the further away from the access point you get compared to this one which does not have any sort of uh, antenna that sticks out. So let me know in the comments down below if you have used USB Wi-Fi dongles before and if you found one that works really well for your solution leave a link. I'm I'm sure YouTube will market as spam, but I'll go in there and approve those because I do want, um, if we can, to build a little bit of a list of at least solid options for those of you that may be stumbling across this video that are in need of a Wi-Fi solution and your only option may be USB. Also, if you like this video, guys, give me a like, share, subscribe down below. Those are very helpful. You can follow me on Instagram and on Twitter at Hoosier Hardware. They're the same tag for your convenience. And as always, we'll let YouTube queue up a couple more videos for my channel for you to watch. I'm Shane with Hoosier Hardware, and I'll see you guys in the next video.